Ted Lasso. Maybe we're getting hooked on it. As, as it is, we've reached a number of episodes which tell us that we're probably clearly going to see an sports series. <clears throat> Although, I still maintain this is not as we have a, a meeting of the team here. It's not so much a, 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 a comedy series as, in a way, an, an instruction <laughs> how how not to uh, live your life. Well, that, that's a wonderful, fascinating comedy series. Maybe we'll get back to that and, and <clears throat> do it episode by episode. We've done some notes, one, maybe more, for all. Oh, damn, that is not <clears throat> that six twenty five. On the other hand, it's not uh, such a good uh, manual if you're thinking uh, how money to be. And this that last one indeed is um, a character that uh, what keeps you watching. Jason Sudeikis, excellent. Uh, now the the southern part uh, would be. Controversial here in the sense that the South, the South Bible book is not associated with <coughs> different values. If those would be values, if not vices, um, we read through a book on philosophy <coughs> and um, that Aristotle. There is an emphasis on the fact that Aristotle. Uh, said virtues uh, are placed uh, on either side of, of, of shortcomings, of vices. So courage, you have courage. Uh, on one side you have recklessness, and on the other side you have uh, um, cowardice. So you can avoid anything, you be coward. But you can also, on the other side, exaggerate and, and go into every like he does, that's it, it's a good example because he's gonna get shot. So. And that's recklessness, that's not bravery, that's not daring me to, for a fight. <laughs> and then, uh, speaking south, south now, it, in, in its association with Trump, not completely. So, again, you have that. As far as I can understand, you have cities in Austin and Austin, liberal people, the urban get it better. <laughs> they, they, they see what Trump is. But then when you go into countryside and all you see is Fox News, it's a different story. <clears throat> so there's that. Trump is kind. He's generous. He's he's <clears throat> he's promoting this uh, this Pygmalion effect uh, to, uh, with his team. <clears throat> Uh, Nathan, he takes Nathan from being he's a humble man taking care of the shirts and the laundry of the, the, the players and being uh, bullied and um, uh, humiliated. He, he's, he's making he a speech. So all kinds of things. And then we see him tortured and suffering for his family, for the loss of his wife and, and, and really in, in, in a panic attack. So. All this kind of thing, you know, human strong and pushing the others to victory. So, um, Bildungsroman. <laughs> now, to finish with Pygmalion, uh, I mentioned the Pygmalion effect, believing in students, believing in workers, and the other way around, workers believing in managers or students in teachers. That brings excellent results. They've studied that and they call it Pygmalion effect, which is uh, used so much by uh, by Ted Lasso, defining in fact so these these episodes um, <clears throat> is uh, a name from mythology, from ancient Greek mythology. Uh, we had Pygmalion, a sculptor. Um, Making a wonderful statue of a woman, Gal Galatea, Galatea. I, I don't know how you read uh, that name in different languages. Still, uh, so beautiful that he falls in love with, with it or her or they in, in the parlance of today. So he's asking the Greeks for a favor to, to 
we fly things with into her, and they do. And so that's, uh, and of course that's the myth. And of course you also have the, the among other things, the uh, play George Bernard Shaw made into a wonderful movie, My Fair Lady. Um, Rex Harrison. <coughs> And uh, with the making of, of, of a young woman, young girl who's, who's ignorant, has a very good tox, a cochlea, and then she becomes a, a lady. Oh, do you have one? Was, was, that's what I was looking for in, in the role of Eliza, Eliza Dolittle. Wonderful, if today it will have so many issues, sexes and so on, macho spirit.